If you are considering moving and living in the Philippines long term, then you will most likely have a good understanding of what the next chapter of your life will involve. It is always a fantastic talking topic, however, some additional considerations can sometimes become overlooked. Thus, today, we will be focusing on these other factors for anyone considering retiring in the Philippines. The first consideration is where will your base be? I often see one common trend, and that is the ex Pats have a base in the Philippines but travel to different cities and islands every so often. But on their travels they always have a main base. Alternatively, you could decide to move to different cities or provinces every so often, but if you choose the former, where will your base be? The second consideration is will there be a hospital nearby? Touch wood that you will never have to take a trip to the hospital. But if you do, it's always good to know that there is a nearby hospital. In certain areas outside of the main cities, some medical facilities are nearby, but on most occasions, hospital treatment can be an hour or two away if you are in the province areas. So this is always an important consideration. We then move on to the next area of interest, which is how will you spend your days in the Philippines? For example, will you be spending your days on the white sandy beaches or perhaps reading in the local coffee shop on a Thursday afternoon. The Philippines tourism authorities have a slogan and that is that it's more fun in the Philippines. This is certainly true as there are plenty of experiences to be had. Nevertheless, it's always best to have some idea of how you want to spend your retirement. Even if it's just a few ideas, it's great to have these at the back of your mind. The fourth consideration is your overseas commitments. Most of us have some kind of overseas commitments. These can be financial, such as an investment or a business opportunity under our name, or perhaps a relationship, such as family members and friends. Of course, this consideration will differ from person to person, but it's always very useful to consider before moving and retiring in the Philippines. We now move on to marriage and intimate relationships. Filipinos are incredibly beautiful, smart, and fantastically kind. So it's no surprise that intimate relationships and marriage has made our list. In the Philippines, you can sometimes progress very quickly in the dating world. Marriage is a massive topic, so if you wish me to cover this in more detail in the future, please let me know in the comments. The next consideration is taxation. This may not be applicable to you depending on your country and your situation. As mentioned when we spoke about overseas commitments, many expats have financial requirements back home which may be taxable. In addition, tax is also an important area to consider consider if you're planning to do business or invest in the Philippines. The last consideration is the backup plan. This can be a financial backup plan or a living arrangement plan. As we've seen during the recent pandemic, anything can happen in this beautiful modern world. Therefore, it's always a wise idea to have some kind of backup plan up your sleeve for the unlikely event that you will ever need to use it. 